Hi everyone. All right, I just posted this video not very long ago at all. And I have received some comments that I, I don't, I really, it's a wow. Um, Jeremiah Payne says that his apartment burned down Friday night in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And he posted this video in response to people calling him a liar. I guess Richie from Boston posted a video or um, reposted Jeremiah's video on his channel. And a lot of people were calling him a liar because there's no mainstream media articles on his apartment burning down. Do you think mainstream media covers every fire in this country? They don't. So in response to all of these accusations, Jeremy posted this video today and he left the telephone number of his apartment complex. I called it, but it's Sunday, so I'm going to call it again tomorrow and verify that his apartment burned down. He See, I don't think people would leave a number for an apartment building if they were lying. And it is Sunday, so he's going to be posting another video with the fire report that he gets from the fire department. Okay. The comments that I've received, and this is what I get you know, every time I post a video asking for this community to come together and help people. People are claiming that because he posted a video showing his um, his daughter who is an infant that it was clickbait to get money from people. I don't believe that nor do I see what others have seen. Let me refresh this. Um, and I think I'm pretty good at judging from what I see, you know, when people show their face, whether or not they're genuine. Now, Am I a, um, am I someone who always gets it right? Of course not. But I don't see anything in Jeremy's body language, his facial expressions, the tone of voice, I don't hear anything, that suggests to me that he's lying. And frankly, if it turns out and I've said this before, if it turns out that I've been scammed by a liar, well, so be it. I think that I would rather be embarrassed momentarily of having been scammed and feeling betrayed once again than heading in the wrong direction which is not trying to help. There's an awful lot of people who have left presumptions, but they write them as, as if they know the truth. I hate these clickbait bullshit bullshit stories about these tragedies, and then you feature your child. You're disgusting. You're disgusting. Are you living off this clickbait fool's money? This probably isn't even his own child. This guy is featuring his child to steal your money. You send him any money, you're an absolute fool. Um, and here, 
you know, writing about their experience, and they didn't do a GoFundMe. They didn't ask. No gun GoFundMe or PayPal, and I'm here to say I survived and struggled like everyone to this day, 30 years later. Wow. And, you know, other people have left comments saying, go to your pastor. Jeff, go to your pastor. Go to your family. Wow. I, I, I literally don't know what to say about this. It's scary to me. You know, when I have seen people, and it, they don't even have to be, like, asking for money. If I pick up a vibe that somebody is lying, I don't post these kinds of comments because I could be wrong. I don't even think to post these kinds of comments. This comes from a hatred. I'm sorry, guys. It comes from a hatred, and it's scary to see. All you are doing is presuming something about someone and then writing it as fact. And who is disgusting? Is it really Jeremiah? I also got another comment that seems to have been deleted. Are you kidding me? You don't know bullshit when you see it. Well, you know, I've said this before. I know that this community is so, um, it's just not really a community. And family has just been destroyed. Community has been destroyed. I have said for six years, we all need to be proactive in terms of building up, strengthening this community, and proactive in establishing trust, which means that we don't lie to one another. But it also means that we catch the presumptions before we just spew them out. Because these presumptions influence other people. And they influence people in the wrong direction. People don't know what to think. You know? 69 go. Why don't you write what it is you saw that was bullshit? Go ahead. Tell me. But be precise. Detail it. What was it in his facial expression? Or his body language? Or the tone of voice that told you that he was bullshitting, just scamming everybody? Write down the details, since you're so good at discerning who is bullshitting. And Jeff, I will tell you that if my apartment burned down and I lost everything and I was living in a hotel and didn't have anywhere to turn, I didn't have a pastor or family to turn to, would I post a video showing you that I had an infant daughter that I needed to take care of? You're damn straight I would. And it wouldn't be clickbait. It would be, this is the reality that I am living. And I need to take care of my infant daughter and I will do anything to do it. I really feel sorry for, for how cruel Americans have become. I believe him. That's what I go with. But you know, having lived an experience that not a lot of people have lived. 
and needing help from strangers because I didn't have a family to go to. I didn't have relatives. And that's what we're learning more and more when people are suffering the consequences of some disaster they don't have anywhere to turn and I have posted videos showing that people are my subscribers who got flooded out Harvey um, and other subscribers well some subscribers did have family to go to thank God but others they learned oh my god my family they're turning their back on me and it is such a shock it is such a betrayal that it's almost hard to even take in so you reach out to strangers and some thank god help you but others man they come out hard you think this guy is bullshitting okay fine if that's what your impression is. But you could be wrong. And I will tell you, I could be wrong. And I will call the apartment again tomorrow. And I will do all I can to verify that Jeremy's apartment indeed burned down. And if I am wrong, I will come out as I have before and state. I was wrong. But I am not leading with a heart filled with hate. I am not going to lead with a cold heart and then come up with all of these presumptions and then throw them out because I know what it feels like to be scared, to have no one to go to, to have nothing and then be so unbelievably shamed and humiliated by people who, well, I just don't believe you. Yeah, this really angers me. I hope to God, Jeff, you never need help. Or 69 goat. Or Judy, who says, I survived. Anybody can survive. I didn't put up a GoFundMe. I didn't go to PayPal. Everybody's circumstances are different. I just have to say that something is very wrong here. because well I did believe him and that is why I posted his video again there is no verification at this point if I am wrong I will come out and say that I'm wrong but you guys have led with your presumptions and that is as far as I'm concerned Disgusting.